I'm not sure about you guys, but sometimes when I'm bored, usually when I was a kid in school, I would mess around on Google Maps or Google Earth, zooming in on completely random places on Earth, and then thinking to myself, who on Earth lives here, and why? What is their life like, and what do they do with their time? Or, have you ever flown on an aeroplane, usually long haul, where you have the screen built into the chair in front of you, and played around with the interactive map? Sometimes I'll be flying over a very obscure part of the planet, and just zoom into a completely random city that I've never heard of before, and again, think to myself, who on earth lives here, and why? Well, today's video is all about just that. We are going to investigate completely random islands of the world, find out if anything special exists there, and if there are any humans who call it home. One of the best regions of the world to do this is Southeast Asia, which is made up of tens or even hundreds of thousands of individual islands. So let's kick off this video with Geb Island. Geb Island is an Indonesian tropical island which actually lies pretty much bang on the equator, which means it sees the same climate every single day hot, humid, and wet. The island is divided between four villages and is home to around 5,000 people, of which most are fishermen. There is also a large mine here, which attracts many migrant workers from neighbouring islands. Geographically, culturally, and faunistically, it is part of the Raja Ampat Islands of neighbouring West Papa, a very popular tourist region as it is, one of the most beautiful places on Earth, and one of the greatest places to scuba dive to. Tioman Island Tioman Island lies off the east coast of Peninsula of Malaysia, in the South China Sea. It's a nature reserve surrounded by pristine beaches. The area is known for its fantastic dive sites, which have corals, many fish, and shipwrecks. The island is covered in tropical rainforests, home to butterflies, lizards, and monkeys. The population of the island is around 2,000 or so. In the 1970s, Time magazine actually selected this island as one of the most beautiful in the world. Not bad. Just like Geb Island, Tioman Island is located not far from the equator, meaning it is hot, humid, and wet. Chota Inak Chota Inak is a village in the Nicobar district of Andaman and Nicobar Islands, India. It sits in the Sandman Sea, west of Malaysia, north of Indonesia, and south of Myanmar. The chain of islands that this village belongs to is a very well-known one. There are many viral videos about this location, as there is a notorious, uncontacted tribe that lives here. The tribe is known to attack anyone who comes into the vicinity of the island, including helicopters and boats. The population the population of this specific village is around 237, with 42 different households. Now, what baffles me is that I'm sitting here in the UK, making videos about this very isolated, primitive location, while its people likely have absolutely no idea about the outside world, let alone that some random dude thousands of kilometres away is making videos about their homeland. Johnston Island Johnston Island is located in such a cool place. Imagine being here and then opening Google Maps just to see yourself in the middle of absolute nowhere. This island, and in fact region, was shelled by Japan in World War II. The area was subsequently a US nuclear weapons test site, and later the site of the Johnston Atoll Chemical Agent Disposal System hence the name. The location of this island is spectacular, and the surrounding reefs and beaches are some of the best that can be found anywhere on the planet. Kolgiev Island Kolgiev Island is located north of Russia, and quite frankly, is one of the grimmest looking places I have ever seen. I can't imagine that life here is pleasant at all. The hottest it ever gets in the summer is around 12 degrees Celsius. Its population is a mere 400 or so. The majority of these people are mainly oil and gas miners or herders. Woodlark Island 
Woodlock Island, otherwise known as Muya Island, is located in between Papua New Guinea and the Solomon Islands in the Solomon Sea. Around 6,000 people call this island home. There honestly isn't too much to say about this island. Not a lot goes on here at all. But just like anything that seems pristine and beautiful on this planet, it appears that logging, mining and excavating of natural resources is destroying the fauna and flora there. Monarch Islands If I was to show you this picture, you may possibly think that it is some sort of tropical or perhaps Mediterranean island located somewhere that is pleasantly hot. Well, actually, that couldn't be any further from the truth. Monarch Islands are actually located in the British Isles, in the very northwest of the coast of Scotland, a place that you'd never associate with pleasant weather. What's crazy about these islands is that they are currently uninhabited, but only as far back as 1942, when around 100 people actually lived there. There are only really two stories about this island. One is about the construction of a lighthouse, and the other is about a lord who had his wife kidnapped and then abandoned on this very island in the 1600s. Now, can you imagine how grim life would be on this island in the winter of the 1600s? Icky Island Iki Island is a tropical island located off the coast of Japan and sits in between the East China Sea and Sea of Japan, not too far off the southern coast of South Korea. When you think of Japan, you will likely think of Tokyo or Osaka, right? Big, bustling, technologically advanced mega cities with bright lights. You don't really associate Japan with tropical islands, right? Well, around 28,000 lucky people call this island home. And it turns out that this island actually featured in a very popular video game recently. Google quite literally describes this island as a laid-back island with white sand beaches, grottos, a dolphin park and unique rock formations. Which pretty much sounds like heaven. Mornington Island Mornington Island is an island located off the coast of northern Queensland, Australia. There are approximately 1,000 Aboriginal people and 60 non-Aboriginal people living there. A random bit of trivia about this island is that in 2003, the government of Queensland implemented an alcohol ban due to the rampant rise of alcohol abuse, which sparked riots on the island. Epi Island Epi Island is an absolutely gorgeous island located in the country of Vanuatu. Its population is around 5,000 or so. The island is essentially a gigantic volcano and looks like something straight from the movie Moana. And our final island is very fitting for the current circumstances, Prince Charles Island. Prince Charles Island is a pretty large uninhabited island located in northern Canada a very inhospitable part of the world. The island actually ranks as the 77th largest in the world and the 19th largest in Canada. Despite the island's large size, it was not recorded by Western cartographers until around 1932, to which it was named after King Charles III, who was born that year, who is now the King of England. So there we have it, some very random islands across our planet. Let us know if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see part two. Thank you very much for watching this video from whichever island you might be from, and as always, we will see you very soon in our next video.